I happen to coach a young man, Marquise Brown there. That's a really good player for us there. Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood Brown. Now he ain't Hollywood to me. He was Marquise Brown. Cause I told him he ain't caught enough touchdowns and he ain't won enough ball games for us to be called Hollywood. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty. Before I get started, before I get started, shout out to the fam, O H M G for tagging tagging me in this and the the fam engraving. And I'm, and I'm working. I'm like, what, 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 what the fam I'm seeing? You know what I'm saying? What the fam? I got my notification. What the fam I'm seeing? And David Cutler, you, you just seen the video. David Cutler said that, bro. I don't even curse, but ninja. That's all I can say right now, cause I don't want to say the other word, and that's not cursing, but. It's some, it's some stuff in there I want to say, but I don't do that. Anyway, Ninja, like, no. I don't, he, he my kid's mad at me. He, he ain't Hollywood. Us fans, we can say that. I know I said it myself a couple times, but I was really just joking because play off and all that. The dude done saved us uh, Eric, right off the bat, Eric. And he gonna sit there and say, I'm gonna be rambling. I apologize, y'all. But he gonna sit there and say, you ain't got no touchdowns for for us to, for me to call you Hollywood. The man broke the Ravens rookie touchdown record. Uh, you ain't caught enough big game passes for us. It, Arizona, he caught that, play, that beautiful dime. Lamar threw game over. He caught, even though we lost the game, he was balling out when we played Tennessee, what, two years ago? And he balled out the, and that's, he don't even have any help. No disrespect, Boykin, but he don't have no help. And I'm talking about the other wide receiver. I ain't talking, Andrews, he got to step it up a little bit, but in big games, but he, he does the best he can because he's getting double teamed, but still. He ain't Hollywood to me. Ninja. I almost said the other word, y'all. Slipped out. It almost slipped out. But, but and no wonder Steve Smith. I'm bringing it down. I'm bringing it down, y'all. This, this is what Steve Smith said on the Rich Eisen show. David Cully, Steve, are you talking about a, a 20 year old grudge? with him where you made the Pro Bowl as a rookie. No, I'm not talking, the, I'm, uh, I'm just giving I'm just Pro giving Bowl context rookie. of why. I'm just giving context of it's not a grudge, it's one of the things is when I look at it, if Rich you've been doing this for a long time. Uh -huh. If you weren't very good in it, you wouldn't be doing it this long. So if all of a sudden you're an analyst and you've never hosted, and then you go out there and host, and then you stumble over yourself, that would kind of say you're probably not a good host. So what happened in 2001? You made it as a kick returner, right? As a rookie. You're a rookie, yes. right? And and yes. and you... Hey, I can go Steve so, want to go in. So here's what happened. So I was a rookie. <laughs> um, I think toward this a year that the Rams lost to... Tom Brady and New England Patriots. Yes, sir. They didn't come to the they didn't come to the Pro Bowl. That's when the Pro Bowl was in Hawaii, um, and after the Super Bowl, he didn't come. So John Harbaugh said, "Hey, they're they're down a wide receiver. Go over there. How it was, you know, you know how to catch punts. Mm -hmm. The punter Todd Soundbrook was not always punctual with time. So he said, go over there. They need a body." Go run. I know Jermaine Lewis will be running some plays for the AFC, so go ahead. Go over there. Cully says, hey, hey uh, we're, got, we're about to meet, so go ahead and go with uh, back with the special team. I said, well, the special team's coach, Coach Robaugh, told him to come over here. Well, these are wide receivers. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. And I walked back over there, and he told me, he goes, oh. And so after that, it just kind of tells me. So the reason I say that is to this day, Coach Cully will say, 
like you said, you're still holding that grudge. It's not holding a grudge. It's the fact I was a pro bowler. Mm. I was also, you were down a wide receiver. And the fact of the matter is you scooted me along because you didn't believe I was a real wide receiver. So that tells me your eye for athleticism and talent um, is as good as Ray Charles and Stevie's one. Oh. Oh. oh, you got the right one, baby. <laughs> You know I could do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. You got the right one. <laughs> but he, he's, uh, he's going to, he has, he has to he's go, I've uh, been told. Uh, but I love. So, that tells you right there. This is what our wide receiver corp has been dealing with, David Cut. This is what Lamar Jackson has been dealing with. That's Texans' problem now. He, he, Steve Smith Sr. He dissed Steve Smith Sr. Do you... Beasted in Carolina. Beasted with the Ravens. Might be a future Hall of Famer. Not first ballot, but future Hall of Famer. That shows don't have no eye for no wide receiver. That's what Hollywood's been dealing with. Marquis Boykin been dealing with. Thank God Bateman ain't got to deal with that. Crochet Deb. That's what they had to deal with. But now we have some two people a lot better. But still, that just shows you. Man ain't going to disrespect him like why he he pretty much said Steve Smith Sr. is not a wide receiver. What? You he's talking down on Hollywood. You ain't this, you ain't that, you th this man Hollywood journey. But he he has it. His cousin Grinder. He does the grinder. This man went from working at Six Flags, doing the college and everything by himself, no financial help really, and made it to the NFL. Doubt it. Then you get to the NFL, you have this man right here doubting you, one of your own coaches at that. Yeah, the media. The uh, first takes undisputed, all those, they can doubt all they want. That's not important. But the in house person doubts you? What? What? A dude that's actually supposed to be encouraging you. Helping you get steps ahead. Where you sitting there see that the man can go up more levels. No, you continually stumping him in the ground really trying to be a bully. I'm happy he's gone. That shows more in detail of what they've been going through. Harbs probably warned them a couple of times, like, dude, I'm I'm done. You're not changing. You're a you a J E R K. Just in case my my, my son is listening. Y'all know what that spells. But really? Really. Much respect to Ravens organization getting him out of there. Texans already have a lot of problems anyway. They done gave away everything, so they about they might be the 016 Lions that year. They might finna visit that. No disrespect to the Texan fans. But when I seen it man, that just Y'all tell me what y'all think. That's just... Uh, I, I can't stand that type of bullying stuff, y'all. I'm just... 
Make you want to give them that two piece with a biscuit with an extra, extra sauce on the side. Mmm. Have a good one. Everybody stay safe. God bless. David.